Okay, this is just um, another short example on the genetic algorithm. In this case, we use the same chart as we did before. So uh, we have the E-mini S&P 500 futures here on a four-minute chart um, just for the yeah, complete last week. So we hear the trading of the futures for the last week on a four-minute chart here. So and in this case, regarding the genetic engineering, we will add now um, yeah, just just another rule. Um, um, as we in this case, uh, for sure, use uh, um, yeah cycle composite, and the cycle composite uh, is is based on two individual cycles, and the individual cycles are replaced by uh, genes of the genetic algorithm. So we don't know which cycles drive the market. So the genetic algorithm. Uh, we'll search for the uh, cycle combination uh, which drive the markets here. So this is the um, um, how the chromosomes, by cell chromosomes and genes are placed exactly the same as it has been in the previous example. But in this case, we will tweak the uh, fitness function because now we say uh, that the average trait should be as big as possible. So there was the question, so if we only have small profit per trade, uh, it would look good from a mathematical point of view, but not from a trading point of view. So in this case, we add just another fitness rule here, which is quite easy. So I've added this um, variable here for the average trade. And it's defined by the uh, statistics, the net profit divided by the trade count. So we will have the average trade, the points per trade. And to have another um, factor in our fitness function, so we will just normalize the values between one point and five points and rate it between zero and um, one for the fitness function. And if um, the average trade is below two points. So in this case, we add the penalty uh, penalty element here. So because we only want to see systems where the average trade is above two S&P E-mini points. So to realize this, we just add another rule, which means that if the average trade is below two S&P E-mini points, then the fitness function will be halved. So the fitness will be uh, not good if we have an average trade below two S&P points. So this is just quite simple uh, example. First of all, how important the fitness function is for the genetic algorithm. And um, you need to define your criteria, what you define as a fit genome. So the genomes are rated uh, within our environment when the environment is one week or four minute bus. And within this environment, we have created the buy and sell chromosomes. And these buy and sell chromosomes are placed in one genome. And we have a fit genome. And in this example, if the average trait is above two. So and this is just placed within these three lines where we calculate the average profit we add just another weighting factor for the average trade profit. We add it to the fitness function here. Um, and then just we add a penalty score if the average trade is below two. So this is just an example. If you have individual rules which uh, you want to apply to, to your genome or what you define as a fit genome, you just, just place it in the fitness function. And this is just another example why it is very important to have the fitness function individually built. Because if you're limited by using a standard fitness function, for example, only optimizing against profitable percent or the profit factor, which in most cases makes at all no sense for a trading system, it's very important to have an individual build here. So, and if we do it this way, we go just to, to evaluate the system. So the top tester system, top 10 systems, which we'll tweak out, just now look, look like this way here, if we use um, these rules here. So um, the, the top one, now we have an, uh, profit of around 120 traded S&P mini points just in one week of trading, a prof profitability uh, um, of 67% uh, with about uh, around 40 trades, which uh, gives us um, yeah, a good good score here. So the equity curve looks like just here down below. So uh, we have our rules that we want the ideal equity curve, which the ideal equity curve is measured as a straight up sloping line. 
and a good system quality number and we have our uh, added rule that the average trade should be above two and now you see which system tweaks out with about 120 SP and mini points in one week by trading just 40 trades so which uh, now has the rule embedded that each trade is on average above two points so um, this looks exactly on the chart like this. So here are the composite cycles which have been detected, which will fulfill our criteria. And here you see the trades uh, placed on the chart, how it looked like uh, trading these composite cycles. And here the cycles are plotted. So these cycles have not been detected by digital signals processing. These have been detected by our engine. And if you have a, a look at the, at the numbers here, um, you see all the all the values here. So we have here the, the total net profit, just just another different calculation, but the same here. So and the um, expectancy score here for one trade is that we have around um, 1.8 e, e mini points as trade expectancy here. So we're quite above two points per trade here. So um, yeah, I think this looks quite interesting here. And j I just want to emphasize how important important the fitness function is and i think the question that we only want trades on average above two points is just just an um way uh how to embed this within your individual fitness functions